Time for the extra exchange now. We're Ron Haynes now joined by Angela Davis and Marcel English from Jersey Girl Sports. Ladies. Hi. Hi. Be kind of Iran, okay? Oh, yeah. He's decided to come and join uh, you he's, he's played in the NFL. Yeah. He got it. He oh, got it. On. He's our warm cream filling. Yes. <laughs> in this nice <laughs> Oreo sandwich he's created. Yes. Well, I'll tell you what, since he's a player and you guys have a, have a beef with it, I know he would agree with your thoughts on the officiating so far in the NFL. How about those referees? You know, it's, it's just been a real hard season to watch these refs. Um, even when looking at the Monday night game with the Falcons, an hour for the first quarter? Come on now, guys. I mean, and just yes. some, some critical plays. I mean, they're missing calls. They're missing penalties that they need to be calling. I mean, and football is the kind of game where missing these calls could really affect the outcome of the game. So it's critical. It's, 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 yeah. critical. it's critical. It could be that turning point. Yeah. What do you think about that, Veron, really? Well, you, the players. you have the commissioner who's – always talking about protecting the shield. Mm. Yeah. Where is our protection? You know, you have D3 refs that is refing these games and potentially people could get seriously hurt. Mm -hmm. And then what then? Where, where are we then, right? right? You, lose, yeah, you, you lose key marquee players and mm -hmm. now the integrity, I think that the integrity of the sport is up now. Yeah, it's you compromised. Know. Absolutely. Yeah. Now you mentioned marquee players. There's one or two that we're missing this season. One of them is Mr. Chad Johnson, who's made news for other reasons. That, and you yeah. ladies have had a chance. Ah, uh, oh. a favorite topic for you, I'm sure, right yeah. now. Yeah, he's he's a he's a hot topic. You know, we had an opportunity to interview him um, in Dallas at the Super Bowl um, a couple years ago, and and he was actually with his then fiance, now soon now ex-wife. Yeah. Huh. Okay. And um, so, you know, it's really interesting to kind of see how everything sort of unfolded. I was glad to see on um, a, a show recently that he took responsibility for yeah. his actions, and that was nice. Um, but I think that his NFL career is looking real... It's as about as tr is, it's about as trustworthy as the NF these replacement refs yeah. right about now. Wow. I agree. Wow. Yeah. wow. I think yeah. he'd get another shot though at, at some team, you know, especially with the refs. Yeah. They'll they'll, <laughs> they'll, they'll get someone hurt. Yeah. Uh, I hate to say it, mm -hmm. and he'll get another shot back in the league. And will it be for playing, or will it be for some of that reality TV type quality? Mm. We hope he what he brings, what he actually brings to the team. I think a little bit of both. A little Chad, bit of both. Ch Chad, Chad entertains himself, I believe. Really? Yeah. Really. Yeah, but we we like, and we don't mind that in the NFL. We don't mind a little bit of entertainment. We want you to deliver. I mean, you know, catch some balls, okay. and then we yeah. will allow you to give us a little sideline entertainment. But when you drop in passes we want you to get somewhere and sit down or go back yeah. and deliver wow you know we yeah. trying to win it's, it's hard. Yeah. It's hard. Yeah. 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 Well, the reason that chad got let go from the dolphins is it wasn't just the incident with um his ex-wife right it was also some other things that came upon um you know him not being there on di um, different practices right. being late um not being fully prepared not just from a team standpoint but also from a media standpoint right. and some other things that he had done with um Ooh. some press conferences got one more thing i wanted to Run across you. Apparently, Verona, a former teammate of yours, I think's wife is going to be joining a certain group of people yes. here in town. Yes, Real Housewives of Atlanta mm -hmm. now has Portia Stewart. That is correct. Cordell's. Cordell's wife. Yes. Nice, yes. Nice. That's, that should be very entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> you would say that. You would say that. <laughs> I mean that with the, the most sincerity. Would you no. let your wife do a reality Absolutely show? Absolutely not. We're not, <laughs> we're, not even, we're not even allowed. We have a rule in our house. Yeah. The kids aren't even allowed to watch reality TV. Oh, folks, if you enjoy this conversation, more of this Jersey Girl Sport, you got a special event coming up? Absolutely. October 28th, in honor of the women who have survived and the families of um, breast cancer awareness, we're having our first in Florida event, Hudson's Grill, October 28th. Um, and I believe that is the Falcons Eagles, Eagles game. game. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Great to come out for a great calls. Ladies, thanks for coming by. And Veron, thanks for being a good sport. Thank you, yeah. Sam. And for you, having you me survived. Again. They weren't. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Tweet this from the Happy Falcons plane is coming up. And the new home of the Jackets next on Sports Extra.